Listen, I know you've probably already checked him out in your save. There's probably loads of videos like this out there already, but I just had to go and do it. This, this is the career of Endrick in FM23 and my word, my word. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new here. My name is Clayton and today we've got a video that I've been thinking about for a while. Since I started to think about which, what videos we do at the launch of FM23, this is one that I had in the back of my mind because there was so much hype around this guy. We are going to do a career simulation of Endrick. And as I say, planning to, this, to do this video for a long time, then I saw that I think basically everyone is doing this. Everyone wants to find out what, what it looks like as he gets older because he starts the game as a 15 year old and he looks amazing i mean this is what he looks like he looks so good to be 15 at this stage what we're going to go and do is we're going to sit aside we're going to go on holiday until about 2043 or whatever it might be until he's going to retire we're going to find out what type of career he can have in fm23 you may have also noticed that we've been on a bit of a grind recently with videos there have been a lot of videos coming out on the channel to celebrate the launch of fm23 and there's going to be so many more to come as well. I've got so many ideas. And if you want to make sure you're involved with all that, and if you've enjoyed any of the videos that have come out over the past week or so, then please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're not that far away now from that goal of 30,000 subscribers. It'd be really cool to kick off a brand new game cycle with a nice little milestone like that. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this type of thing, give the video a like and let me know in the comments down below. Maybe there are other players that we should go and do career simulations of. Maybe we should go and do some different types of save that you want to see. Let me know in those comments. I'm open to suggestions. As you can tell, I'm on a bit of a wave of a wave of content at the moment and I'm happy to listen to your suggestions too. But let's get back into the video. Let's go and find out how Endrick turns out in FM23. Okay, then it is 2027 then, which means Endrick should be about 20 years old now. And I have a feeling at 20, he's already turned into a beast. I just know he's going to. Let's go and see where he's ended up in five years time. Endrick is now at, at Chelsea. And I don't have to scroll past Jeff Hendrick anymore. He's at Chelsea though, which does suggest that he's turned out very, oh my word. I, I said he was going to be good. Look at him. Is he... He's very messy, isn't it? He's, oh my God. He hasn't even made his Brazil debut yet. He's got 20 composure. Look at the physicals as a 20 year old. I mean, he can't jump for jumping reach, but other than that, acceleration all the way down to strength, our nice green attributes. He's continentally known now, left footed as I don't think we mentioned before, but 20 composure, 19 flair, 18 off the ball. To be honest, I was expecting maybe these technicals to be better, but the mentals and the physicals are going to more than make up for that, aren't they? He's moved to Chelsea in this save then. I did say he's fairly cheap to go and buy. I'm looking at some of his career stats here as well. He's played 53 times for Chelsea and scored 11 goals, which that's not amazing. But I guess he is still only 21 years old. I did say 20. He's actually 21. He's gone past his birthday, which is in July. How much did he move? 7 million. 7.75 million pounds is what he's moved for. And that's probably, that might be, oh, cost so fast. That might just be what they've paid for him so far. Maybe there's future clauses, but do you know what a bargain? And I mean, he hasn't even shown it yet. His, his performances haven't been that good. 6.87, 6.76, 6.98. Has he won anything with them? He's won the Carabao, they won the Champions League in 2026. To be honest, he's already winning things then. He's the European golden boy as well. He, there's the, look, like, yeah, he was bought for their under 18. Okay, it does rise to 9.5 million pounds, look. So that's maybe more like it. He was only third in the next gen award. Can I see, actually, I can see the top three, can't I, in the, in the next gen awards. Who was winning it then? Jude Bellingham, Matthias Tell, who I did include in my Wonder Kids video. So maybe I was right to, to think him. Lauren Ulrich and Alfie Devine at Spurs. Matthias Tell won it two years in a row. Then Asan Udre, uh, Udreogo. He's good. German midfielder. I mean, maybe he should have been in the... Uh... Wow, he must be like the same age, age as Endrick at the start. He must be 15 at the start of this game. What a player he is. There you go. There's an extra name for your Wonder Kids list. Asan Udreogo. At Hertha Berlin. Does he start at Hertha Berlin? I feel I, I would get... No, he doesn't. He starts at Schalke and they've bought him for decent money. I mean, I'm getting carried away here by looking at other people. Here's another one. Fish Harbour, who was a new gen and a couple of new gens coming through. But Endrick came third in that one. Did he come in? And that was it, right? Yeah, he's not made it into the next gen since then. He's won the Carabao Cup. He's got the English Players Young Player of the Year. I think there's more to come, though, from our Endrick. Let's go and find out how he turns out 
in another five years time when he's 26 he's gonna be better than this all right here we are then in 2032 now this time and he's gonna be what 26 at this stage let's search up his name see is he still at chelsea and is he still amazing i i reckon he probably is still amazing he is still at chelsea then as that striker, 26 years old, and now he's made his Brazil debut. 37 caps for them, 19 goals. And have a look at this profile. I said maybe his technicals could improve. I think they have improved. We're going to see some green ones here, actually. He's got 16 dribbling, but 15 finishing, 15 first touch. If they improve a little bit more and add them to these mentals, which if you were to describe them, you might describe them as mental. 20 composure, 20 flair, 20 off the ball, 20 vision. He could play in midfield, I reckon. Maybe not quite got... I mean, he has got the physicals, but he could play in midfield. Look at the vision. He's got the thir he's got 13 passing, so maybe not. But Jesus, look at these mentals. And then the physicals are pretty good too. I think his jumping reach has gone down. It wasn't it four before, and now it's down to three. He is... He's quite good. He's an elite striker at this stage. Let's see if he has been doing some elite striking in terms of goals scored. Do you know what? His average rating hasn't been that good at Chelsea. I don't think they've won the league yet, although we will check that, of course, after now. But only a few seasons over a seven average rating. Is that poor? Is that disappointing? Maybe. He's got 14 goals in the league, 21 all comps. He's got 24 all comps the season before, 22 all comps. He's not broken 30 goals yet, which maybe for a player that looks as good as this, you'd expect him to score maybe more than that. But, I mean, he's st maybe he's more of a creator. Maybe he's got loads of assists in there. Let's have a look at his milestones. Has he achieved anything really interesting since since joining we've seen these parts here we've seen the carabao cup he has scored for brazil he won the english under 21 premier division one champs who's back in the under 21s potentially he won best young player at the copper america golden boot third not winning any ma majors though major honors here fa cup winners and community shield winners is he maybe disappointing a little bit in what is achieving obviously his profile looks incredible doesn't it but is he maybe underachieving and what he could be doing it's a four hundred thousand pounds per week by the way good lord look at that for a number do you know what i am intrigued what is the brazil squad looking like in 2032 let me check it out is there any really good i mean are these real players paulo cesar oh my good lord flipping heck i mean he's a new gem but paulo cesar i mean <laughs> we can't do a video all about this new gem but look at him <laughs> he's good isn't he i'm sure there's more of these as well i need to hang on let me just get a screenshot of him i'm gonna post him on one of the fm facebook groups because i love winding those people up and i'm gonna post him and say you should sign this guy he turns out incredibly and obviously he's a new gen and they can't and they're gonna love it and they're gonna think i'm an idiot and it's just it's honestly i really enjoy doing that so that's what i'm gonna do for that I guess, though, we should move through another three years and see how our Endrick turns out as he moves into his 30s. Some players do develop later on as well. Maybe Endrick will do that. Let's go and see how he turns out in 2037. Here we are then, 2037. And now Endrick is 31 years old, I do believe. Let's go and check him out and see. Still at Chelsea. So a little bit of a disappointing career. If we wanted action, we wanted him moving around. He's gone to Chelsea. They put him on massive wages. So I guess it kind of he's kind of got stuck there, hasn't he? Let's have a look at him as a 31-year-old then. He's on £425,000 per week now. Maybe we just missed him having his best technical abilities, actually, because he's lost one of his greens on there. His mentals, though, as he gets older, are even more, even better. They're still improving is what I'm trying to say, but not getting it out very well he's lost a little bit of pace at 31 15 pace 15 acceleration he's now a legendary striker though here at chelsea i wonder if he's won any more trophies he's scored a lot of goals though 176 in 398 so just under one in two which is pretty good isn't it he's now got 83 caps for brazil as well four under 20 caps as well before that let's have a look at these career caps has he had a, has he had one big scoring seat not really None of these seasons are massive. He got his 30 goals in a season last season, actually, as a 30-year-old. Did he get more than 30 in a year? If I just scroll through these. No, so 30 and most recently. That has been his best season, a 7.47 average rating as well. I wonder if that's coincided with Chelsea being really good. We will see, I suppose. But he has. I know we mentioned him only getting six point somethings at the start of his career. Since then, he's pretty consistently been hitting those sevens at least, hasn't he? One season where he had a bit of an off one at 6.98. But then every other season, except for this most recent one where he's only played two games, over a seven, 7.47 7 most recently. That's pretty good. Let's have a look what he's been winning then since 2027, I think we left off, wasn't it? 
He has... It was just after that, I think, actually. He has not won much. He's won the FA Cup, Community Shield, Copper America. That's pretty good. And they did win the league, look, in 2037. So do you know what? This most recent season where I said maybe it coincides with them being good, they have actually won the league. So maybe, just maybe, he's, he's into his twilight years, but his best years. This season, Erling Haaland still playing. How? Okay, 37. I guess he's still pretty young, isn't he? But you know what? He's still going strong as a 37-year-old. How many goals has he scored? That's a question. Yeah, a, a, quite a lot. 411 in his career. Has he beaten the Premier League record? He must have done, surely. Unless Kane scored loads. Maybe that's a video in itself. How long until Erling Haaland beats the Alan Shearer Premier League record? Or does Harry Kane get it? Whatever, anyway. We're, getting, we're digressing again, aren't we? Let's go and find out. I think now, let's go up until Endrick decides to retire and here he is then the day before he retires Endrick 35 years old what a career he has had he's now a free agent he's been released by Chelsea and he's going to retire if I go to his information here it should say that somewhere right plans to retire on the 14th it's now the 13th of July 2042 and let's go and look back on what he became I mean you take him, wouldn't you? He's retiring, I know, but what a player he still is. And imagine also, we looked at Haaland, who was 37 and still going strong. Surely you'd think that Endrick could continue playing, but no, he is going to retire and he's lost another jumping reach attribute. It's down now to two, which is, I think, hilarious. We've seen how good he's got, but also how much worse at jumping he's got over his career as well. Let's look back then. He spent his entire career, except for the very start with Palmeiras, at Chelsea for this career simulation then and he scored a bucket load of goals really none of them being completely prolific goal scoring seasons it was this one it was it this one here where he got 30 and is that the only one that he got okay the season after he got 34 30 after that okay he's three seasons in a row he got 30 plus and then it did kind of tail off a little bit but look at these average ratings after a while I mentioned in the last little segment didn't I that it improved it stayed really, really good. He has he's had a really good season there. A really good season? He's had a really good career there, I should say. Overall, down here, look, that is 572 matches played, 269 goals scored for his two clubs. But add to that is 62 goals for the Brazilian national team in 129 caps. And you've had a hell of a career. What a player he becomes in FM23. And you can go and sign him for so cheap. Chelsea got him for £9.5 million. If you're around about the 2024 mark, you might be able to get him a little bit before this as well. If you're around about this stage in your save, it'd be silly not to go and sign him. Is that fair? Like, surely you, you just go and do it, don't you? Endrick... go and sign him in your saves. I hope you've enjoyed today's video with his career simulation. I had to make this video. He looks so good, doesn't he? Thank you so much for watching, though. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you do leave a like on the video and leave me some comments down below. What did you make of his career? Should I go and what should I go and do next in terms of content? Let me know that too. Subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you very soon. Bye-bye.